What's up guys, today I'm going to be checking out Cleo Soul's Rose in the Dark album. This is her debut studio album and this is something I've been wanting to do for quite some time. I feel like ever since uh, I heard like the first couple of songs from her, I was like, okay, yeah, this is definitely an artist I want to delve deeper into and, you know, actually sit down and listen to an entire album from uh honestly i haven't really had the the time to do a lot of albums and movies and whatnot but i'm trying to you know make more time to do these things but uh yeah man, i'm really really looking forward to it like she is genuinely a breath of fresh air in today's music scene uh and to any like naysayers and like old timers that are just like Debbie Downers as far as like new music having any potential whatsoever I feel like she's definitely got the stamp of approval to uh you know prove them wrong for sure man she is just really really talented but uh yeah this is uh her debut album it's not a super long album only 38 minutes and I've already heard track 6 and 11 so uh, we're gonna skip those two because we've done them already but uh yeah, any thing we need to know? I mean, it's labeled as Soul. 4.5 out of 5. Honestly, I never bother, bother uh, with ratings for uh, albums because I find that, like, I feel like some of my favorite albums are some of the, like, lowest rated albums um, by, like, public uh, perception, right? Like Rainbow Children, for example, that's like one of my favorite albums in general, and it's not a very well received album. But, um, let's see, yeah, it doesn't seem like there's a whole lot to uh, look into here, but honestly, I'm looking forward to it, and uh, yeah. I think that being said, we just go ahead, hop straight into track number one, One Love. Okay, interesting. Uh, I'm not sure if this is going to be like a... No, it couldn't be a cover, could it? I don't know. I guess possibly, maybe? I don't know. We'll just find out. Uh, one Love, let's check it out. Holy smokes, I can't believe I'm doing this. Okay, let's go. One Love. Okay, I mean, I should have expected that. I mean, it's only a minute long, a minute and 20 seconds long. So it's essentially like an interlude into the album, which honestly, I feel like you don't see that much uh, these days. Like people using interludes and skits and whatnot in their uh, albums. But I like that. One love. Um, so yeah, now we're going to move on to the next track. Why don't you Let's see if we can pull that up? we go and also i think after i do this album i don't know if i'm gonna do this album like chronologically like or what but because i know uh one person was absolutely you know uh spamming <coughs> and wanted me to uh for sure check out the mother album um so yeah i don't know if we just oh wait i think that's actually okay that's actually the next album anyway so you might do it chronologically. 
because I know uh, I forgot the person's name, but they know who they are. They're probably watching this. But I remember they would just spam for me to check out the Mother album. They said it's like a must listen. But uh, yeah, next track, Why Don't You? Let's check it out. Why don't you just let go and quiet down your ego? Don't complain about finance. I know your daddy weren't a real man. Go ahead and live your dreams. To me, you're stronger than a whole team. I know you can't relax, and you don't want me to know that. I see you work real hard. You want to help your friends, but trust me, baby, you don't owe them. Don't take on people. Problems. I wanna see you smile. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay, last time pausing for like the next five songs, I promise. But I forgot like uh how uh how much lyrics like matter when it comes to her music as well. Like she's not just like a, a R and B singer that's just talking about love songs or whatnot. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but I do like the fact that, you know, when you listen to her songs, I feel like every song i've listened to from her like it has like a message to it so yeah so far i'm i'm loving that so far about this you want to help your friends but trust me baby you don't owe them don't take on people's problems i want to see you smile even when you think i'm angry it's true it might take a while but it's between you and me Check my text. Don't you worry about my ex. I might be on his mind, but I never reply. Remember on the weekend, I said I'll make some changes, and you said you'd do the same thing. And I don't wanna fight my king. I held you when you was weak. You caught me on my knees. Don't pressure me for some kids. I won't press you for my room. I know it's never the right time, but we gotta do things on our time. Sometimes I still doubt myself, but at least now I love myself. And I am quite emotional, that's why you can't get close at all. So I start to push away the ones that love me, cause I'm scared that they might walk away. I'm not perfect, so I try every day and I grow a little bit. Read a little more so I can educate my kids. Eat from my soul and cleanse my spirit. Pray cause I'm ready for the bloom of the city. Since serenity is all that I need. I'm hopping on the bandwagon officially, man. Holy smokes. Sheesh. Yeah, her music is is absolutely phenomenal, man. 
like not only vocally vocally i'm be honest she's crisp like it doesn't even sound like she's trying to be honest um but it still comes across as like just really smooth and and buttery but uh yeah the production on this one i really enjoyed too it's a lot of just like layers like i was listening to it i'm just like yo how is so much happening but at the same time it's all coming together so so beautifully um and yeah not to mention just the lyrics as well in this one were really nice for sure i mean i, I can't really relate to any of that <laughs> But, I mean, I still enjoyed it nonetheless. So, yeah, now we're going to move on to the next one. Track number three, Young Love. Oh, this could be an interesting track for sure. It's reminding me of like a 60s R&B song. Like it's kind of got that vibe, especially like with the background singers and everything. Holy smoke. Yo, I'm loving this album so far. I'm only two tracks in, but sheesh, man. This is, this is top tier stuff right here.
that's deep that's deep man this is definitely uh you know a song directed towards the young ladies of uh the time and whatnot but man i really i respect that man for sure i feel like you don't i don't know man maybe i maybe i'm just glazing super hard right now but i just feel like you don't really hear a whole lot of songs like these nowadays from artists either like it's just I don't know, man. This has just been really, really good so far to experience this album. Once again, I'm only like a couple of tracks in, but I have heard a couple of tracks in, you know, uh, advance. So there is that. But yeah, this is a really good song, though, for sure. I absolutely enjoyed that one about, you know, um, not being in a rush to grow up so fast and also at the same time learning to love and you know respect yourself what was she was saying like uh like something about like is brave to know your heart or something like that something like that that was just really really uh deep as well but yeah that's that's a pretty pretty good song man i absolutely enjoyed that one and hopefully the song itself was able to you know reach um as many of her young female fans as possible because yeah this is definitely something that um inspires a bit of uh inspiration <laughs> but yeah that was young love and now we're gonna move on to the next one titled rewind okay rewind i was chasing a lonely feeling all these hurdles Hey, how long was that? That was only two minutes. And these songs all have a really just nice vibe to them. Sure, they're easy to listen to and just easy to get lost into. But um, yeah, that was a pretty good song. Uh, from what I understood of that, it seemed to be about like not uh, abandoning the path just because it's taking long or a long time for any fruits to bear. You know what I mean? It's like, don't press rewind and like go back down the road you've been traveling this entire time to take a different path because you haven't seen any uh, progression, so to speak. But yeah, I definitely um, enjoyed that one. <clears throat> it's more, it's more of a 
mm, I don't want to say simpler because even this song felt somewhat pretty intricate, but um, I feel like compared to the previous songs, it's definitely more of a just kind of like how do I say that? It knows what it wants to be. It's a very just bass song, but not in a bad way. Sheesh, okay. But next song, uh, next one is titled Rose in the Dark. Wait, I like the sound of that. Rose in the Dark. Let's check it out. She really does make a lot of just like hopeful, inspiring, spiritual songs. I feel like, oh, wait, that was, wait, that was spot on. That's literally spot on. Like, I feel like every song I've heard from her, for the most part, is all, they've all been like super hopeful or inspirational mixed with like a bit of spirituality. Yeah, that's dead on. Holy smokes. 
Uh, but yeah, this was definitely a pretty good song as well. I wasn't like, you know, hyper analyzing everything. I was just kind of going with the flow, but I kind of got bits and pieces of what she was talking about. But uh, yeah, Rose in the Dark, definitely enjoyed that one. I don't think I'm going to not enjoy any of these songs, to be honest. Like, I, I genuinely don't see if that's or how that would be possible. But uh, yeah, now we're going to move on to track number seven, Sideways. Also, I'm really curious to hear just kind of how, um, like on the next album, just how her music evolves. Because right now, it's really good. But I can definitely, I mean, I've already kind of heard, I guess, to a degree how it does. But uh, I haven't heard anything from that Mother album. So I guess it would be interesting, nonetheless, to uh, see how that goes. But yeah, Sideways. You will treat me like a boy Oh Feeling like together we'll grow old. They said I won't rise <laughs> Yeah, that's a lie I guess we found love They don't like that It's only happy tears rolling from my eyes that was beautiful. I make no mistakes But you're on my side I guess we referring to like how like uh like moving sideways as in like people sneaking around and that sort of thing maybe maybe i'm misinterpreting that but that's how i'm kind of picturing uh that going down but uh yeah let's go ahead and continue They're gonna call you crazy Cause they're threatening who you're gonna be So pure and gold Not a day goes by That I'm not on your side I guess we found love These are all just really good songs really good songs and just vocally vocally pure but um yeah i feel like this song was pretty self-explanatory uh it's about just being loyal to that person that you're with and being i guess grateful that they found love 
uh but yeah pretty self-explanatory but yeah uh that was sideways and now we're gonna move on to track number eight butterfly is this a cover why does it say cover maybe i guess possibly this is a cover i'm not sure but yeah let's check it out i see you body full of hay crying out for someone to save the day get a little acoustic i tell you god makes no mistake your time will come have Watching nothing so hard So much so you forgot to pray to the Lord You're so faced by the outside world Don't forget Your peace lives within Butterfly Lost in the night Running out of faith But your wings are still bright Hold on, don't you cave in yet Your spirit's much stronger, don't you forget Butterfly, lost in the night Running out of faith, but your wings are still bright Hold on, don't you cave in yet Your spirit's much stronger, don't you forget What you thought was right was mostly wrong But don't waste time thinking about the past Soon you'll be free at last Forgive those who focus on your dark parts Let go of others who broke your heart Set free the friends who decided to part Was meant to be Will be Butterfly Lost in the night Running out of faith But your wings are still bright Hold on, don't you cave in yet Your spirit's much stronger, don't you forget Butterfly Lost in the night Running out of faith But your wings are still bright Hold on, don't you cave in yet? Your spirit's much stronger, don't you forget? Spirit's much stronger, don't you forget? Spirit's much stronger, don't you forget? Butterfly, lost in the night, running out of faith, but your wings are still bright. Hold on, don't you cave in yet? Your spirit's much stronger, don't you forget? Butterfly, lost in the night, running out of faith, but your wings are still bright. Hold on, don't you cave in yet? Your spirit's much stronger, don't you forget? Spirit's much stronger, don't you forget? Your spirit's much stronger, don't you forget? That was nice. Uh, I like the overall change up of the vibe as well with the acoustic guitar in there. Um, uh, more or less though, this was, you know, uh, pretty much the same as like some of the previous songs as far as like the message and everything about not giving up and, you know, being, uh, what's the word? Persevering through pain and whatnot. So yeah, pretty much the same message, more or less, but I could be wrong in that. I, I feel like there may be more to this song, possibly, but uh, regardless, that was a pretty good song, though. I definitely enjoyed it. And uh, yeah, now we're going to move on to track number nine, Sure of Myself. Hey, let me just make a little note right here as well, real quick. There we go. Alrighty, track number nine, Sure of Myself. Let's check it out. Yeah, 
nice nighttime vibes. Say it ain't so. Stay in your zone. And that's my simple advice. I told you already. Don't make me say it twice. I don't like when you talk bad about my friends How about when you speak, you never listen I tell you my truth, but will you throw it in my face At the end of the day But I want you all the time Even if we have to fight It never matters who's right Because we're trying to build but I sometimes fight with myself And I cry to myself Never tell a lie to myself Cause it's only me But you already know You already, you already know, don't you though? You're like my mirror So There's no point trying to lie This is my theory, by the way. I like how the production kind of matches and mirrors the lyrics. Because, like, the lyrics are about, like, uh, wanting to be at peace and wanting to have, like, um, what am I looking for? It's like wanting to be at peace, but at the same time wanting to have, like, uh, discussions without them leading into arguments or something like that. And, like... In the song, you hear like birds chirping, and then like the next second is like waves crashing against the shore in like this super like violent and uh, disruptive manner, right? And I feel like that's supposed to be like representative of like the lyrics of the song. Like she wants peace, and at the same time uh, that there is peace, there's also you know, the uh, chaos of the waves crashing and whatnot. So I like that, or at least that's my theory. But uh, if that's the case, that's pretty cool. But uh, sure of myself, that was uh, track number 10, I believe. No, track number nine. Now we're going to move on to track number 10, titled I Love You. Let's check it out. I heard a Except I love you Wait, did you 
you should say accept. I heard all the words except I love you. <laughs> yeah, it's hard to uh, squeeze those three words out. If he won't say it, I will. Cleo Soul, I love you. Holy smoke. No, I'm just <laughs> no I love her music. Uh, and I think she's a phenomenal artist. Holy smokes. That was uh, the last song in the album for me because I've heard uh, 6 and 11. But man, <sighs> that was really good. I'm definitely super excited and curious to hear just how this evolves into the next album, which came out a year later. But man, that entire album just felt like a series, a collection of stories, more or less. You know what I mean? It just felt like a bunch of different uh, stories being, you know... Uh, being sung about track after track after track and a lot of them were like inspirational and hopeful uh stories with a bit of spirituality like i mentioned earlier and the entire album just had like also this super laid back and chill vibe to it that was some of the best r&b i've heard in a long time that was just really good, man. And like I said, vocally, she sounds amazing. It, like, it doesn't even sound like she's trying, like, half the time, if I'm being honest. Uh, it just sounds and comes across so nonchalant and chill and everything. And it really matches the overall vibe of the album and the songs and whatnot. Uh, but yeah, this was, this was a really good album, man, for sure. Uh, I feel like if any, like, old heads are, like, skeptical or... Uh, don't have any faith whatsoever in newer music like I said earlier I think Cleo Soul is definitely that that light in the darkness uh <laughs> geez, that was corny uh for those people those skeptics but um uh, yeah man this was a really good album one thing one criticism small criticism 
that I feel like I would have or that I had with this album. Um, I, I kind of wish there was a little bit more variety, like in the way the song sounded. Like it almost felt like every song had like the exact same structure almost or like bass foundation. I don't know how to really like say, but yeah, I just wish there was a little bit more variety in uh, some of the songs. But honestly, I'll, I'll take that. I will take it. You know what I mean? This was just a really, really well put together album. Uh, just super chill, like I said, and laid back. And, you know, it's, it definitely does a really good job at um, capturing you in like this super... Um, Mm, what's the word I'm looking for? It's like very R&B and it does a really good job at like capturing you inside like that that atmosphere like that R&B atmosphere But yeah, really good songs uh, a lot of inspirational stuff and I'm really looking forward to this next album mother Which is their second album? um because yeah this is the one that that one guy in the comments was like i have to check out mother so yeah i'm looking forward to doing this one uh somewhat soon i haven't heard any songs from this one so yeah it should be interesting then this one we've oh we've definitely heard some stuff from this oh man she's got some bangers hey what is this album I think I've heard anything from this one. Um, hmm. But yeah, like I said, uh, really good album, but I'm definitely uh, very uh, excited to see what the future holds uh, with the next album. And uh, yeah, that was Rose in the Dark. If you guys enjoyed that one, make sure you smack the like button, subscribe if you're new. That being said, much love, stay safe, and peace out. Also, I'll just tack this on as well, maybe, possibly. Uh, but like as I'm looking through the track list again and like recalling these songs, man, this was just such a beautiful album. Like a lot of like truly inspirational music and songs, uh, like Young Love, for example. Like it's a lot of just like really really good stuff in here for sure that i feel like a lot of people could listen to relate to and honestly learn and grow from you know what i mean this is yeah this is some really really good stuff here i'm really tired but <laughs> yeah man this is a really good album for sure but i definitely see like uh or i can definitely see like room for improvement but Honestly, I'm not bothered or worried about that whatsoever because I've heard some of her uh, other songs from later in her career, and yeah, man, she's still killing it. So, uh, yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna add that on, but if I, in case I do, appreciate uh, the the love, the support, and uh, yeah, much love, stay safe, and peace out.